We don't need war propaganda. Six more days until the transport ships are ready to go. I'm surprised you are still doing as bad as you are. We've got two more days until you are done. Hopefully, are you ready to go right away? The answer is yes. Um, we're gonna try an invasion. Six and three divisions. They're gonna go to uh, Livorno. If everything goes well, there's nobody defending the port, which is definitely not true. Oh no, there is actually nobody defending that port. Oh, that makes my life a billion times easier. We'll do this, delete, delete, delete all the old plans that we have. Ireland wants to get some support, thank you. Build more rifles. Hopefully our allies will support us here. Reinforcements are arriving. See, look, this is every other AI. Like, this is how you do a naval invasion, is that you just... You just destroy them. No mercy. Cut them in half. They're going to try to strategically redeploy to kill you, but it's not going to work. You cannot stop my plan, Italy. I've put it into motion 15 minutes ago. We don't need any of this stuff. Um, better rifles. At least for one minute, I see. A, yeah, I mean, you know, you 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 can miss out. Life comes at you fast. Now the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Okay, so that's Rome. We don't want to attack Rome quite yet. I still want to split Italy in half, of course. I don't know if we have enough supplies actually to maintain this. The answer is that we actually do not. Which is horrible. Uh, please fix that immediately. I guard this. And we have two ports. Yeah, I probably put, like, too many men into this region, to be fair, but... Captured a another port, giving us a decent amount of supplies from this region. So if I actually, say, avoid here, that actually fixes our supply issues. Because they're not going to come through here, they're going to go all the way around Italy. Somehow that's better for us, but... You know, I'm not, a, not an engineer. Or something. I, I don't know things. Okay, you guys can definitely move your way up north. Keep on marching south. So our supplies at least looking... I mean, they're looking better. 
for sure. Capture Genoa, please, and thank you. Um, so if I allow access here, supplies are okay. Yeah, because we're capturing more and more ports. We're about to take Genoa. We've unassigned divisions. Uh, you just hang out because I, I honestly don't think I need. I don't want to put more troops into Italy. I mean, if we build more tanks, I'll probably put more tanks in. But other than that, okay, so Genoa is about to fall. Let these guys up like this. Keep on marching towards the south. You can probably take Rome. And I probably, I mean, we'll definitely be able to take Rome. You guys can definitely do this on your own. I'd be surprised if anything bad happens. Let our reinforcements arrive. Again, France, why try to navally invade here when you could just support the already successful invasion? And while you already have Naples, like, you've already secured a port. I'm not too sure why you're so worried about all this. Like, you're dead for 100%. Um, send you guys up to the north. Apparently... Still only have not even done 20% of the war. I feel like I've definitely contributed more than that. You know, but what do I know? Okay, some troop movements back up towards the north. Will we be able to take Turin from this side? I'm not too sure. Um, they should. Um, Italy is the last major power of the faction. So as soon as Italy capitulates, the rest of the international should give up. If not, then, you know, we have the fun task of trying to break Switzerland, which is... Horrible. We've already gone down Italy, down to about halfway dead. And probably take our troops to Parma. Can we take turn from the south? I'm gonna go with no. At least not quite yet. We'll probably take Milan soon. Venice is their current capital. And you can just come down here. And I'm, I also have a feeling they don't have any of Sicily actually defended. So just do something like this. And that should work out well for us. And you hold back. Parma's about to fall. We immediately try to cross the river. And this this is what you call successful invasion. You go here to get the surround on this guy. How's the, how's the American Civil War going? 
I mean, Maxo is actually managing to push back. It's very strange what's happening over there. Um, it's it's better for everybody if we just ignore it. I'll keep on pushing this direction, please, and thank you. These two areas don't matter. Um, the AI is never going to actually build, like, ports or anything in that area. I mean, hopefully there's nobody uh, defending these, uh, defending Sicily. It'd be a real shame if they did. Um, let's keep going for you. Kill Modena. 70-92. After that, keep pushing your way up just north. I don't think this will technically be bordering the Swiss, but I'm not too sure of how the AI will interpret it. Oh, but we'll see. I mean, this is looking wonderful. Let's so walk over here. Through the mountains, you're going to take this last port. Actually, there's no port there, but that's fine. And Italy, at this point, like, I would give up. You're at 41%. Venice is 20. Turin is 20 as well. We can do a major push into Milan. And a major push across here to get towards Venice. And we could probably... You know what we can do? Instead of this one idiot being there... We don't need him any there, uh, there anymore. You go for a nice invasion of Venice. Maybe we can uh, land there. Safe and soundly. And if that's the case, I mean, that's good for us. It looks like Milan will fall. I know we're basically not building anything at all at the moment, but that's... F Wait, why are we not building anything? Because we don't have the materials to do so. So let's limit our exports. Uh, use less of our factories. Import more stuff. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, our very good tank division is not here at the moment. I mean, he's right here. Or right here. You are part of this front line. Please make your way towards Milan. If we can get Milan to fall, it works wonders for us. There might not be any... I mean, looking at... Because we have vision of this Canadian troops, there might not be actually anybody in Venice. But I think if Venice and Milan fall, that might be enough for the win. Yeah, they did try to deploy some troops there. You saw four guys on the defense, though, huh? A lot of these guys are French troops. You know what, Blue? You need to force attack your way across.
Why would he go this way, not back to the port that you came from? Not too sure. But I think after this, there might there still might not be anybody actually in Venice. Let's go for another naval invasion. Like, Milan is getting close to falling. Again, once again, there's nobody in the city. In 23 hours, we will make landfall, at which point I'll probably deploy more, uh, some more reinforcements there. Unless, of course, that's enough for their capitulation. The answer is no, they're at 23%. Put these guys on that border. It's, are you a, are you a core? You are a core. Only worth one victory point to be fair, but still. Once Milan falls, like that's the end of the campaign. Like we we when Milan falls, we win. Like, no doubt about that. So... See if can... Push against Milan from the back. Area has fallen. I mean, is even Treese, was that a core state? It was. Okay. Looks like you might land a Pola as well. If you do that, that also might be victory. Man really landed in Venice. Yeah, nah. So Germany, let's look at let's look basically at this final death count. Almost six million men, and they did not move an inch on any front whatsoever. That's honestly incredibly impressive to lose six million men for absolutely goddamn nothing. Like, holy shit. Can we, get a, can we just get, like, a round of applause in chat for uh, the sheer incompetency of the Germans? Like, that... Insanity. For one, I'm definitely taking uh, these islands. Um... I think that's about it for me. But I'm not going to be taking too much stuff, so we're going to end our turn there. Um, French Republic. You get all of the Commune of France. No question about that. Germany. Germany gets nothing in this entire war. Um, the Canadians can have uh, Britain. And that, that turn. Austria, you can have your old territories back as a, as a sign of good faith, even though you definitely do not deserve them in any capacity. Um, Brazil. I mean, Brazil, you can basically have all of South America, dude. You did, like, all that work. So Brazil can have that. Um... Middle Africa, you can have uh, Liberia. I'm not too sure actually you won Liberia. I never actually looked down there, but that's fine. The Dutch were the ones who beat the Norwegians. But actually, I'm going to give it to Sweden just because that makes more sense. Take all states and turn. Our good friend... Sardinia. You can have Italy. And then the hell of it, Republic. Somebody in the chat said you should give, give, give Germany, Switzerland. Fine, they can have Switzerland. Um, but the French are going to get back Ramon. The French are going to get Romandi, and the Germans can have everything else. 
That's that's what they get for helping out in the war, is they get Switzerland, even though... Honestly, do they deserve it? Like, no, I would say. So, Sardini, are you going to proclaim the Kingdom of Italy, or are you going to, um... If you play Proclaim Sardinia Premont, I'll be very disappointed in you. No. People are getting released right now, that's why it's going to be a little bit laggy. But no, I'm keeping the territories I took on the uh, border are mine. So sorry, France. You don't get that. Okay, so they, they've gone for Proclaim Sardinia Piedmont. So they've, they've chosen the boring option. I'm a little bit disappointed by. Wait for more people to get released. I'm sure people are getting probably released in, um... Yeah, South America. Somebody did say that if uh, Turkey lost the war, that I should give this territory to Bulgaria. And I am going to give it back to them. But like that. There we go. So, more or less, that I guess that's going to be the end of that campaign. Bolivia, this is a mess. This is actually horrible. This is some of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um... Please give this territory back to Chile. Paraguay looks like a little bit of a mess. But I think all in all, that is going to be the end of the campaign here. I mean, the Reichspact grew the most powerful, mostly just in South America. Um, like how, like you're on service by requirement with less than a million manpower. Just incredible. Incredible what they've managed to accomplish and uh, screw up but i think it's gonna be a good time to end this stream and the campaign so thanks to everybody for watching i'm not too sure what we're going to be doing next um i know i should hopefully be getting the codes for la resistance next week if all goes well i'm not too sure when they're actually going to be giving out the codes but i'm hoping that next week um is when i get sent them uh there's the one star wars mod where you start off in the middle east that i've been interested in trying out we'll probably see a can campaign on that sometime soon as well but i think if you've enjoyed remember to follow me on twitch follow me on youtube uh if you're watching on youtube just below this little video you're able to see a little button that says join if you click on it for as little as one dollar a month you can help me pay my rent uh, but for now have a great day or good night because it's almost uh, midnight here